This is example 5.11 on page 190 of your textbook. This is an example of a titration calculation, which is very much similar to the solu solution stoichiometry we started at the beginning of the chapter. So titration is just a technique for determining the unknown concentration of an acid or a base by basically titrating or pouring, measuring out a certain amount of acid or base into an unknown acid or base and looking at exactly where the mole amounts are equivalent. So the question states, the titration of 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid solution of unknown concentration requires 12.54 milliliters of a 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution to reach the equivalence point, or the point where their moles are equal. What is the concentration of the unknown hydrochloric acid solution in molarity? So they give us a balanced equation wherein we're reacting hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide to give water and NaCl. And we're given three amounts, a volume for our HCl and a volume and molarity for our sodium hydroxide. So one of the things that you have to do with stoichiometry or for titration problems is typically you are given milliliter amounts. So in order to convert between volume and molarity, typically we want to be in liters, not milliliters. So before I do anything in this problem, I'm going to convert both of my milliliter amounts to liters. So 12.54 mils. If we divide by a thousand or move our decimal over three spots, it becomes 0 0.01254 milliliters. Not milliliters, I apologize, just simply liters. And if we do the same for 10 milliliters, divide by a thousand or move our decimal over three spots, we get 0 0.0100 liters. So now we have these amounts in liters. Now we can start our titration calculation. So ultimately, we are looking for our molarity of HCl. And just like in solution stoichiometry, I'm going to start with a thing that I know more about. I have two numbers associated with my sodium hydroxide, so that's where I'm going to start. And first, I'm going to put a volume. So remember, we've converted this volume to liters. So I'm going to put 0 0.01254 liters of NaOH first. In a titration, we're going from one volume of substance to another. So I'm going to need to be converting from liters of sodium hydroxide to moles of sodium hydroxide first. And I can do that because I have molarity up here. Remember, molarity is like saying I have whatever number of moles over one liter. So in my calculation, I can say one liter of sodium hydroxide solution contains 0 0.100 moles. And that's just breaking up the complex unit of molarity. And it's moles of NaOH. So now my liters of NaOH cancel. I'm now in moles. And this is where my balanced equation comes into play. So we want to ultimately go to volume of HCl, which means we're going to need to first convert to moles. So I have moles of NaOH, and in the balanced equation, they're just one. 
And if I look at my HCl amount, it's also just one mole. So to write a mole-mole ratio for this, to get from sodium hydroxide to HCl, it's going to be one mole sodium hydroxide on bottom, because that's what I want to cancel. And on top, it would be one mole of HCl. And those two numbers we get directly from our balanced equation. So now, the only thing we have left is we want to find the molarity of HCl. I've canceled everything else out except for moles of HCl. And I can actually use this calculation to build my molarity unit. Remember, molarity is moles over liters. So I have moles, and on the bottom, I can put my volume of HCl that we have in the problem stated up above. We want it in liters, which we've already converted to. So literally, I can say this amount times this amount gives me moles of HCl divided by liters, moles, and on this last denominator spot, I can put 0 0.0100 liters of HCl. I don't technically have to have anything in this top spot. We could just put a one there as a placeholder. And so if we look at our units that we have left over, we have a mole unit and a liter unit. And that is going to give us the complex unit of molarity. So I can carry out this whole entire calculation and calculate in one step the molarity of HCl. So I'm going to take the liters of sodium hydroxide times 0.1 times 1 and divide that number by 1, 1, and then 0 0.011. And it should give me a molarity of 0 0.125 molar for HCl. That is your final answer for this solution stoichiometry problem utilizing titration.